In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to trigger workflows from an input. Here on the page, we have an input box, a button, and an alert. Typically, you start the workflow with a button event to show an alert message. Instead, we can trigger a workflow from the input value being changed. Let's delete the button and head to our workflow tab. In our workflow tab, we'll make a new event under elements, an input's value is changed. Then in the event property editor, we'll need to select the right input from the page. Here we'll see any input on the page, but since we only have one, it's already selected. Now every time this input's value is changed, this workflow will run. We'll add an action under element actions, alert, show message, and we'll set the alert message to this input's value. Because the workflow was initiated by the input we selected, this input automatically refers to it so we can use it in expressions like so. When we preview the page and fill out the input, the workflow will trigger and our alert message displays with this input's value. And if we check it in step-by-step -step mode, we can see it run the workflow and how the input is evaluating. Utilizing this event as a way to listen for input changes is a great way to trigger workflows and make your application more user-friendly. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io academy.